Hi everyone, welcome back to the Love and Toast Homestead. Today we are going to plant out some cabbage, broccoli, and onions in this bed. So first we're going to lay out all the onions. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably do about a four to six inch uh, clearance around it. So every center will be four inch because the wall will be about two, three inches. And then we want two extra inches on the side. So six inches will probably be the best way to like center them. So I'm going to lay them out in the garden bed first. I'm not going to dig rows with these because they're already pretty established. And then with the broccoli, I'm going to plant every other row with some broccoli and onions. And those get pretty big, so I'll leave a little space in between. So I'll probably do onions, broccoli, onions. And this is a great way for companion planting because the onions will actually deter any cabbage worms because of the scent, it will actually repel them. And then once it starts getting warmer out, I'll plant some dill out here and that also helps with the cabbage worms. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so right here I have my onion seeds, right here I have my cabbage seeds. Yes, some of these random seeds started um, coming up in here, so I think I might have re re reused some dirt and thought they didn't germinate, and it looks like they did. So I'm going to just slowly take this out so I don't disturb their roots too much. Yeah, so that'll be... So that's going to be one broccoli plant, and then I'm going to put it over here. And I'm just doing a pattern of one, then the next row has two, and then one again. So that's pretty much how I'm going to lay these all out. So I'm going to go ahead and get a shovel for these.
going to try to sneak these ones in at the end because I don't want to have to have them in a different bed. These roots did really well in their containers. Okay, so that's all the cabbage. I'll walk you down the... So we got all the cabbage and broccoli planted. So now onions. This is definitely going to be the longer... So I'm gonna start at the edge and just do about three inches off. So it looks like I can probably fit one or two onions in between each of these broccolis for this one. Mm -hmm. I'll probably move these down actually. Now these ones are going to be pretty straightforward. So these ones I can just basically dig a hole and put them in. I don't want to put them too deep because as the onion grows, the bulb starts coming out of the soil. So you don't want to plant it too deep. So just enough so the roots are planted. It's not like a tomato where it will start having its roots go up the vine. That's not how they work. So this one over here. I have a feeling if I forget about putting these in right now, I might actually get to actually plant them. Okay, so there's our onions here. So just keep going down. These onions did really good for germination. Okay, let's pull in here too.
Okay, so I got all the cabbage and broccoli and onions planted. Everything's looking good. Of course, my phone died uh, near the end, so I lost some footage that I was doing. But yeah, everything looks great. I will be putting a little hoop um, set on top of here and probably putting some netting up. And Whenever the weather gets below certain temperatures, I'll put my frost blanket on just to make sure they're okay. But yeah, so onions and cabbage and broccoli are done planting. See you next time.